Hello everyone, this is Chandra Shekhar welcoming you all to the daily dose series for civil and mechanical engineers. In this series, we bring the important concept or the important numerical or some important trick which is going to help you to improve your understanding for any particular subject. All right, so in today's session, I am going to talk about the fluid mechanics subject which is common for civil as well as mechanical and in fluid mechanics, uh, memorizing the dimensionless numbers becomes very difficult for many of the students. So here in today's session, I am going to discuss the important trick to memorize the dimensionless numbers which is going to be useful in model analysis. All right. So those who are here for the very first time, this is my quick introduction. My name is Chandrasekhar, mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi, having more than 10 years of teaching experience and also worked in Steel Authority of India Limited for a couple of years. And I also cleared engineering services examination. All right. So let us start before understanding the dimensionless numbers. Dimensionless numbers are actually the ratio of forces various forces so first of all we need to understand what are the major forces applied on the moving fluid on the flowing fluid one of the major force apl applied is inertia force that is mass into acceleration right mass is density into volume that is l cube into acceleration is l by t square so if we take l here if if we take uh, one L from here to here. So L square by T square becomes V square. So inertia force is equal to we can write rho L square into V square. This is how we can write the inertia force, right? Then comes the viscous force. Viscous force can be calculated by Newton's law viscosity that is mu A V by H or we can write it as mu area is L square into V upon H dimension of H is L. So the viscous force is equal to mu into L into V. Similarly, next force is pressure force that is pressure into area. So we can write pressure force is equal to P into L square. That will be the pressure force. Then gravity force that is mass into acceler uh, mass into acceleration due to gravity mg. M is density into volume that is L cube into G. That will be the gravity force or the weight. Then the surface tension force is equal to surface tension multiplied by the length of the common interface. And finally, the elastic force, which is bulk modulus of elasticity into area. So elastic force is equal to K into L square. These are the various forces which are acting on the flowing fluid. Now, if we take the ratio of inertia force to viscous force, inertia force on the numerator, viscous force in the denominator. So this ratio you all know because we have been using in fluid mechanics analysis of the real flow that is the Reynolds number which is the ratio of inertia force by viscous force that is not difficult to memorize. Then keep the inertia force in the numerator and divide by pressure force. If we divide by the pressure force we get Euler number. Now how to memorize it? Euler used to be the person who was taking pressure of each and every department. Because you can find Euler equation in mathematics, you can find Euler equation in physics, everywhere in fluid mechanics, in strength of materials, everywhere there are Euler equations. So Euler have done lot of work in each and every department. So he used to take the pressure of every department. So when pressure force comes in the denominator, it will be the Euler number. Inertia force will remain in the numerator right this is how you can memorize now when you take gravity force in the denominator inertia force by gravity force that gives you the fraud number gravity some people still believe that gravity is a fraud why because normally forces are existing in pairs there is attraction there is repulsion forces are existing in pairs attractive force as well as repulsive force Gravity is the only force which only attracts the body. So there is a lot of things which are still unknown about gravity. So people believe that gravity is a fraud. So when gravity force comes into picture in the denominator, then it, it gives the fraud number. All right. 
next the ratio of inertia force by surface tension force that gives weber number how to memorize it weber used to be the student who was always in tension because of his name starting with w his roll number used to be in the last in each and every class so when ma'am used to call for viva she used to call, start calling the students from the uh, last roll number and when sweets used to get distributed his uh, the sweet distribution used to be from the first roll number so every time he used to suffer because of his roll number uh in the last in the class so he was always in tension whether the ma whether ma'am will start calling the students from the last roll number or the first roll number so whenever the tension surface tension is in the denominator it gives the weber number and last but not the least the ratio of inertia force by elastic force that gives the mach number look how to memorize the these tricks are only to memorize how to get the mach number if we write mach and if we put o in the in the last it becomes macho mach plus o becomes macho and macho is you all know very well known undergarments brand and in undergarments elasticity is very crucial so whenever elastic force comes into denominator inertia force will remain in the numerator when you replace the denominator with the elastic force that gives the mach number i hope you will be able to memorize these numbers and you can develop the formula also now what is the catch here renold number is simple there is no problem with the renold number ratio of inertia force by viscous force so if you write numerator is the rho l square v square that is inertia force denominator is mu l v if you do this then you can replace it by l rho v l by mu you will get now all the other numbers will have under root of this ratio all the fraud number will be under root of inertia force by gravity force you have to take the square root why because then the the uh, dimensionless numbers should be in terms of velocity because we are talking about the flowing fluid so here in renold number it is v square in the numerator and it is v in the denominator so no need to take the square root but here all the other numbers it is v square in the numerator there is no velocity in the denominator gravity force does not have any velocity appearing in the expression pressure force does not have any velocity uh, appearing in the expression surface tension does not have any velocity uh, elastic force does not have any velocity that is why it should be the root of fraud number i told you gravity is the fraud so inertia force by gravity force under root is fraud number euler used to take the pressure of each and every department so if you divide inertia force by pressure force and take the under root then you will get euler number weber used to be in tension during his school days so when you divide the inertia force by surface tension force and take the root square root because it should be in terms of velocity that is the reason we take the square root and mach number macho very well known brand for undergarments elastic force is important inertia force by elastic force that will give you mach number i hope this is helpful for you to understand or to memorize the various dimensionless numbers and where do we use these dimensionless numbers in model analysis whenever we apply the model law equating that dimensionless number of model with the prototype then it is called as model laws whenever we use when when to use the renold model law when viscous force is important in the in the analysis then we go for the renold model law when the gravity force is important in the analysis here i am in the last slide i have written the usage field of use so when uh, this and when elastic force is important then mac model law will be used we will equate mac number of model with the mac number of prototype similarly weber model law these are the various usages for these various model laws and then euler model law implies that euler number of prototype is equal to euler number of model i hope you got benefited with this 
uh, with this short trick to memorize these dimensionless numbers, we will bring more such concepts. Stay tuned and all the very best for your examination. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Jai Hind.